Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to FAA Weekly. This is Keno Thomas, and I'd like to thank you for coming on uh, and watching the video we prepare for you this evening. Um, FAA Weekly is basically a source that you can come to to look at Federal Aviation Administration questions directly from the FAA Pilot Test Bank. Our first selection is from the private pilot test bank and it is a weight and balance question and the question is asking us what is the maximum amount of, amount of fuel that may be aboard the airplane on takeoff if loaded as follows so here we have the empty, empty weight of the aircraft 1350 its load moment 51.5 we have the weight of the pilot and front passenger the rear passengers 310 the baggage 45 and the oil and our selections are 24 gallons, 32 gallons, or 40 gallons. So the maximum amount of fuel. You're going to want to know what's the most fuel we can put in this aircraft based on what we see here. Now, we're going to have to have a little bit more information. And this will come from figure 35 as the question uh, asked us to refer to. Uh, so we have our loading graph. And we have another loading graph. Uh, after we get the individual load moments here, then we enter into the second uh, graph there. And in addition to that, if you notice, there was a, a notation down here. So there's some notes down here. And I've had them expanded. Uh, and basically what we want to take into this is... Uh, uh, you can read this on your own, but basically what we need from this for our purposes of answering this question is the amount of engine oil, which is 8 quarts, how much it weighs, 15 pounds, and the negative load moment there. So, after we come up with our total weight, we'll enter here, and our load moments will enter here, and we'll meet up somewhere, hopefully within either the normal category or the utility category. So, uh, what we have to do is find each individual load moment for the pilot, front passenger, rear passenger's baggage, and oil. So, the pilot and front passenger, 340 pounds. We come into the graph at 340. Starts here. This load weight will come in. Come in at 340, and we watch the line here. We want the pilot and front passenger line. So, we come across 340. And we come directly down and we come up with a load moment of 13. You can come back and put 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So 13 is there. 13 is our load moment for the pilot and front passenger. Then our rear passengers were 310. We come up to this area, 310. We cross over to the rear passenger's reference line. We come straight down. We'll come up with 22.5. Baggage was 45, yeah, 45. We come into 45 and we come straight down and I think we get like three or four. And then back to our note, our note told us that eight quarts, which eight quarts of oil, eight quarts gives us 15 pounds and a load mo moment of negative 0 0.2. So what we do is we add all this up, we add all this up. 2060 and 2098. Okay, this is just to give us an idea where we are. Actually, at this point, the question is done. Okay. All we need to do is go to our chart and note, this is the heaviest we could be. Okay, 2,300 pounds. So, if we subtract 2,300 pounds from 2,060, it would be 240 pounds. But, what they give us is gallons, our weight in gallons. So, the only one that matches with this is all of these can be multiplied by six because aviation low lead, 100 low lead aviation fuel, fuel weighs six pounds per gallon, 240 pounds. So the most we could put in here is 40 gallons. 40 times six is 240. That will bring us up to our maximum weight that we could be according to our chart here. Um, this was just something I noted. Uh, as far as where we were, you could take the load moment of what we had in the question, and this is where we were. 
and you could look at 2300 see where we are and you could have made that calculation as well just based on that picture so uh, that is the private pilot question I thank you guys for watching have a great evening